Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a pretty exciting one because today we are celebrating National Gluten-Free Day! Woo! For those of you who don't know, I eat a gluten-free diet and so I thought today's video would be a perfect way to tell you guys how I made that decision and how my journey eating gluten-free has gone so far. And of course, I also have to include an element of makeup and everything so I give you a tutorial on this look right here which is one that I did for New Year's Eve so if you want to hear about my gluten-free journey and celebrate gluten-free day with me while also learning how to be snatched please keep on watching so I thought for this tutorial it'd be kind of cool to test bringing you guys a little closer so you guys can really see what I'm doing. So to start this eye look, I'm going to go in with my trusty Frankation palette. I know I use this palette a lot, but it's just such a good palette to start things off. And I'm going to be using the shade here called Necessary for my transition color. So my journey into adopting a gluten-free diet began, I guess, it wasn't a sudden decision. It was kind of many years of realizing that it's probably something I should do for my health, but it definitely stems from my diagnosis of Hashimoto's disease in 2014. And Hashimoto's disease is a form of autoimmune hypothyroidism. For a couple years after the diagnosis, I would get lab tests done every six months to check my levels. And and I was just time and time again told my levels weren't bad enough to warrant any medication. So I was never prescribed anything to sort of manage either my levels or my symptoms of having Hashimoto's, even though in the doctor's eyes I was healthy or in the healthy range, you know, I still was suffering through those symptoms. So I definitely started doing research and trying to find ways that I could, you know, just feel better day in and day out if medication wasn't gonna be something that was gonna be prescribed to me. Next, I'm just gonna deepen the crease a little bit more and I'm going to take a mix between these two colors. This is Churro and Girl Bye. I would say the moment where I seriously considered going gluten-free was actually April of 2018. So that's like four years after my diagnosis. So what happened in April 2018 is I took a very quick trip to New York City for a group I was a part of, a consulting group, and I got sick. And it was definitely food related. Something clicked in my brain. I was like, okay, enough. I need to be more intentional with what I put in my body because my body's already attacking itself, right? So I need to be thinking about what I'm doing to myself even though I can't control what's already going on inside. Shortly after that New York trip, I borrowed a book from the library. Shout out to libraries. It was Dr. Isabella Wentz's Hashimoto's Protocol. To be honest, I didn't read all the way through it because there was a lot of changes that she wanted you to make up front that I really had no control over as far as like environment, what's going on in your home, like your, your systems, your filtration systems. I don't know, it was, it's been a while since I read it, but it was just something very extreme in my opinion. So I was like, great, I'm trying to actively figure this out, but it seems like I need to do all these things for it to just be right. And so I got overwhelmed. Okay, now moving on to the palette that I think is the star of the show as far as this look is concerned. And it is the Huda Beauty Nude Light Palette. She looks like this very pretty like pinky tones and so I'm going to start with this kind of mauve color right here. So shortly after I stopped reading that book a web design firm that I follow on Instagram they announced like the launches of websites that they redesigned and this particular day it was for a blog called Fit Rocker Chick and the name immediately intrigued me because in high school I was like the resident emo kid so I clicked on it and lo and behold the blogger behind Fit Rocker Chick Aaron Mullen Sanderson specializes in helping people with Hashimoto specifically 
specifically. And I literally was like beside myself. I felt like this was like some sort of divine intervention or something that led me to Erin. So I immediately started reading like everything she had ever written. And she has a bunch of like ebooks that were great resources for gluten-free diets. And so that to me, I feel like I had been researching for many years about how to manage Hashimoto symptoms. And the reoccurring theme was adopting a gluten-free diet from random articles online to Dr. Isabella Wentz and now Erin. So it was just very clear to me that this was something that I needed to at least try and see what happens. And so I literally could not have done it without Erin. She has an ebook, I'll link it down below, but it's called Gluten-Free Fundamentals. And she is so thorough as to like what gluten is, like where you might find it hidden and some of her favorite gluten-free foods that she likes. And it just made it so simple for me to understand and, and to adopt and to really feel comfortable making that change in my life. I'm very thankful that I just randomly happened upon Erin's blog. Okay, so I'm going to deepen the outer corner a little bit more with this like medium brown color from the Nude Light palette. Now we're gonna get into an exciting shade, this pinky rose kind of shimmery shade right here. And I'm just gonna take my pinky and put that all over my lid. Once I had purchased the Gluten-Free Fundamentals ebook from Erin and studied it, I finally made the decision of when I was gonna start being gluten-free. For me, that was like May 12th or May 13th. And the reason behind that was that I had already had in my mind that I wanted to take the whole year before I knew I was going to graduate from my master's program and really try to figure out my health. I just wanted to feel good. Just feeling like crap day in and day out just wasn't sustainable for me anymore. Now I'm gonna do an inner corner highlight and I'm gonna be using this shade right here. It's kind of a lighter pink. I wanna say it's kind of duochrome. And now I'm just going to reinforce the lower lash line with some of the colors that we used up top. So I'm just going to take this mauve color and the medium brown and kind of dip between the two. Now we're going to move on to eyeliner. This is the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil and Perversion. What we are going to do is take some black shadow and reinforce that liner and smudge it out. Okay, I'm going to do my mascara top and bottom lashes off camera and we'll be right back to finish the rest of the face. Okay, I'm back and the eyes are done. So now we'll move on to the rest of the face. And I think what I liked most about this look when I did it for New Year's Eve was I actually contoured. I wanted to show you this part because for all the other face products, bronzer, blush, and highlight is pretty standard. So I'll run through those very quickly. But what I did use to contour on New Year's Eve was my Kat Von D Shade and Light palette. I just used the lightest shade So we can kind of see a little bit of a difference between this side with the contour and this side without. Both sides are contour. Again, I'm just going to speed through this part where I do my bronzer, blush, and highlight. Okay, so now the face is done and all we have left is the lips, but before that, to kind of wrap up my gluten-free journey, like I said, it's been about like a year and a half since I decided to go gluten-free and so you're probably wondering, how do I feel? I do think that it helped with a lot of symptoms. About a week, like literally just a week into me being gluten-free, I had lunch with my parents for Mother's Day and when my mom saw me, she was like, did you lose weight? Your face looks slimmer. And that's one of the glamorous symptoms of Hashimoto's is a puffy face and it's an inflammatory response to what's going on inside. And just having someone, especially like my mom, to notice something's changed was 
enough motivation for me to keep doing it and that's why I have continued to do it for a year and a half now. I just felt like the benefits have outweighed any sacrifices I've had to make. I still enjoy food, I love food. So there are still ways you can live your best life on a gluten-free diet. I do think that there's still work to be done as far as managing my Hashimoto's. I don't think solely a gluten-free diet is gonna be the cure-all for me. I think there's other steps I'm gonna need to take. I think in this new year I'm gonna further explore ways that I can really center around the wellness of my thyroid and its function, how what that means to my own body. Just to reiterate too, this is my own experience. Definitely consult with your doctor. Do your research as much as possible. Someone sitting next to me with Hashimoto's might not have the same experience. You know, so you just really have to work it out for yourself and find out what works best for you. All right, for the lips, I'm using Carly Bible's lip collection from El Maquillage. I'm going to take two of the lip liners. I'm gonna take the nude one and outline the whole lip and then take the pink liner and kind of bring it towards the center. I think the fact that the nude light palette didn't have any shade names threw me off because I didn't even tell you what the names of these lip liners are because they definitely have names. The pinky one is called Bible and the more nude brown one is called Luna. And so I'm gonna do the same with a couple of her lipsticks, a like nude brown called Libra, and I'm gonna put that all over. And then just in the center, I'm gonna take the more pinky lipstick in Sirius. And lastly, it wouldn't be a Lisa lip look without gloss. So I'm taking, again, this one from Carly Bybelms, El Maquillage Collab. This is in the color Twilight, and we're just gonna put this in the center of the lip. All right, guys, that is the final look. I hope you enjoyed this little tale of how I went gluten-free for National Gluten-Free Day. Happy Gluten-Free Day to all of my fellow gluten-free people out there. Let me know in the comments below if you wanna hear more about my gluten-free lifestyle, maybe like what are my favorite snacks and foods, because it's a serious thing to try to find really great gluten-free snacks. So I hope this video was both informative, again with a makeup tutorial, but also informative of what it means to make that decision of adopting a gluten-free diet. Again, can't stress it enough, consult with your doctor. I am not a doctor. If you like this video at all, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and click that notification bell if you do want to be notified of any of my future videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.